Tauruses! Welcome to your weekly love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from August 22nd to the 31st. For my newbies, hello, thank you for joining. Um, I want you guys to know that I always go over my meditative session and then I get into the tarot reading. So my meditative session, I pick up energy that is occurring in and around you. So that's energy that is affecting you directly, coming from you directly, or in your energy field, or from someone who is energetically attached to you who might not be physically around you. So please keep that in mind as we go into this, um, and then we'll get into the tarot reading. So Taurus, I had a lot of really interesting stuff come up in your meditative session. So first, because I got I had a lot of energy come at me, I felt two very distinct energies, two, that's four, uh, two, very, <laughs> very distinct energies kind of going on for you during this time period. And again, I think one of them is definitely you, the other is another person. So take this as it resonates, guys, because this message is not going to be for everybody. All right. I want to go over what I saw and I'll tell you what I think is going on. So the first thing I actually uh, heard was block, 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 block. The word is block. I realize I it made that sound a little strange, block. But it was like repetitive, like block, 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 like out, block. Almost like a banished kind of energy. Then I saw an alligator. Alligator. I don't know why I can't pronounce my words today. Um, and then I actually saw um, a Canadian goose very very specific for those who don't know what they look like go look them up they're actually really gorgeous must have a lot some canadians watching me hi <laughs> been meaning to make it up to canada at some point in time anyway after i sorry feeding time after i saw that i had this energy of wanting to protect like like serious wanting to protect not even territorial just wanting to protect someone maybe protect yourself standing up for yourself i also had this energy of being overwhelmed and i feel like this was a different energy like someone's feeling overwhelmed someone's feeling very vulnerable the other person is feeling very protective here um and it does feel like quite a little kinship kind of an energy not in the sense of family this could be family related for some of you it definitely feels more friendship to romantic kind of range for whoever's going to resonate with this and then I heard unlock the gate. <laughs> Taurus, what I think is going on is I think there is one energy that has blocked out another energy or is protecting themselves, trying to protect themselves. They feel overwhelmed by something or some kind of energy or situation going on in their life. This could be you. This could be the other person you're connecting with. So that's one energy. Again, feeling very, very overwhelmed, almost like trying to hide, like trying to hide, trying to cover. Um, they're showing me a bunch of reptiles now. This, this could be the alligator. The, honestly, it could be an alligator person and a goose person. Not necessarily. We all have a lot of different animal totems for ourselves. But I am feeling this like, I need to protect myself. I need to protect myself. I need to protect myself. This is too much. This is overwhelming. I need to protect myself. Just block, 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 block. And I'm feeling another energy of unlocking that gate. Like trying to get in. Trying to get past the blocks. Trying to get past the, the barricades there. Um... Yeah, the, yeah, it's like there's an energy that's blocking shit out or blocking someone out, and there's another energy that's trying to get in, right? Trying to get in, trying to unlock the gate. Now, keep in mind, I think this is very positive. It doesn't feel negative. It just feels like almost like someone's just trying to come in for support. Someone's just trying to come in for help. However, I do feel that for some of you, it could be that this need to protect, protect, protect myself is because there's more than one person trying to get in. You know what I mean? And that could be overwhelming someone. So keep that in mind that there's some of you where you're feeling overwhelmed by your life, your situation, or something that's happened to you. And you do have someone who's trying to come in and help you, support you, protect you. Both energies have protection on their mind, for sure. One's trying to protect the other and one's trying to protect themselves. And for another group of you, it's like there's so many people trying to get in to your energy field or get into your life or get into whatever it is that's happened or just trying to get to you or get under your skin and you have someone who's trying to protect you in the process of that okay so take that as it resonates but let's go ahead and get into the reading this is very interesting i can already feel it's gonna be a very very interesting little little read here okay um for those who are new to tarot or new to my channel please keep in mind these are very general readings messages come through for those who need to hear them sometimes that will be you sometimes that won't be you and if it's not your week that's okay 
Whoever had to hear that message had to hear that message, okay? And there's a lot of great readers on YouTube. Please go ahead and check them out. No need to get angry or mad if the message is not resonating with you, okay? Just wasn't meant for you. Also keep in mind, this is energy work. So energy is fluid. It's not linear. It's not fixed. So yes, it can be vice versa. Just like I, what I already said with the messages that I already you know, gave to you. You could be the one trying to protect yourself. You could be the one trying to protect someone else. It's all about protection right now, Taurus. All about protection right now. You could even be connecting with another Taurian because protection is like keyword for Tauruses, right? Um, also keep in mind that gender of the cards does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy and we can all harness any sign we want to. So as I'm calling out sign energy, it's just to inform you of the energies at play. This can pertain to anyone with any sign in your life that it's resonating with, okay? It's just energy that they're harnessing, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this. Also keep in mind, guys, tarot readings, it's just a message about opportunities and what's occurring, what's going on for you to be aware. You are the masters of your own life. You make your own decisions. You don't have to take any opportunity that comes your way, okay? Any messages for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for Taurus? They're showing me the alligator again, but like that lurking, like got the eye out, got the eye out, got the eye out. I really feel like that's the energy that's trying to protect themselves. I feel that really strongly because when you think of like a goose, wait, do, no, they fly. They're big ass birds though. No, they fly, they fly very confident about that. I could be wrong, but I'm very confident that they do fly. It's like they have the aerial view, right? It's like they can see what's coming. They can see what's coming around the corner. Yeah, I feel like for anybody resonating with those animal totems, I really feel strongly that there's like someone harnessing go Cana Canadian goose. I don't know why they show me Canadian goose specifically. Um, trying to protect, trying to see what's coming, trying to act as a support system for the alligator who's trying to protect themselves, which is interesting because alligators are predators right they're predators they usually are like go after right um they usually don't have you know any issues with getting attacked by anything unless like you're doing the hippo or something like that anyway total nerdy total nerdy tangent don't need to go down that road but anyway that's what i'm picking up that's what i'm picking up if anything i would think the goose would need protecting but anyway let's go ahead any messages for taurus regarding love my guys are like, stop overthinking. I, I know, I know, I know. And I say that all the time, guys. It's like, when you get a message, just go with it. You're getting it for a reason, so. Any messages for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? Okay. I am so sorry. I don't know how the hell that happened. Hold on a second. Sorry, I know that was very loud. Eek. I think we're good. We're good, guys. My apologies. I don't know why that happened. There might be a tower moment coming here. Any messages for Taurus? I'm like scared it's gonna fall again. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? August 22nd to the 31st? Okay. Any messages for Taurus? Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? Uh, all of a sudden I'm feeling anxiety. I feel like this is from the person trying to protect themselves. Whoever this is, uh, they know something's coming. It's almost like they can feel a tower. I'm, I'm feeling like waves of anxiety, waves of anxiety. Any messages for Taurus? Ooh, ooh, six of wands in reverse, Jupiter in Leo energy. Yeah, I'm getting, don't look over here. Stop looking at me, stop looking at me, stop looking at me. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting with that. Like, oh, oh, it does not feel good. It doesn't feel good. It feels like very negative attention. It feels like very negative attention. Ooh. I don't like that. I really don't like that. I can feel the person like panicking and trying not to panic. Any messages for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? Oh, shit. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn, I just heard recede, recede. 
God. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. Yes, someone is getting a lot of negative attention. Will be. They're telling me will be. This hasn't happened yet for a lot of you. Will be getting a lot of negative attention. And like this, this Queen of Pentacles is like panicking. They're panicking. They're like they're wanting to hide. They're wanting to hide. They're wanting to run away, which is interesting because it's not usually a Queen of Pentacles energy to do that. But I think because they're so overwhelmed, it's really hard for this person to keep it together. Oh man. Oh shit. Any messages for Taurus? Any? Let's see what we got here. The world, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, which was Capricorn, a lot of Cappy energy. Okay, this is what's fascinating to me. So this queen's very overwhelmed. This queen is overwhelmed. They're getting a lot of negative attention for something. Um, I, feel, I heard blame. They're getting blamed for something. I don't think... It feels so wrong. Like... Whatever they're getting blamed for or negative attention, I feel like it's not true. It's almost like slander. God, I hope I don't have any celebrities watching me. Because um, that's it feels very big. It feels big. It feels overwhelming. It feels like I need to hide. I need to run away. I need to run away. I need to run away now. But with the world there, there could be some travel. There could be some travel involved with this. Um, needing to go away, like on an international level or in a travel level. Like that's like how panicked this person's this person is. Like I I I'm I'm just gonna get on a plane and go. I'm just gonna run away from this. Like that's that's how this feels. That's how this feels. But I love that the world is upright because it also tells me that this is temporary. This negative attention is temporary. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Any messages for Taurus? regarding love august 22nd to the 31st any messages for taurus regarding love august 22nd to the 31st oh be beautiful 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 any messages for taurus regarding love ace of pentacles i love it i freaking love that take a breath tauruses some of you because you know this could be vice versa and others it's pertaining directly whoever this queen of pentacles is if i have any queen of pentacles watching me don't worry about this moment whatever you're getting blamed for whether it's in your family your work environment your friends what have you uh, whatever you're getting blamed for it's temporary it's temporary because then we have the world and the ace of pentacles that's a whole brand new beginning okay even if some of you are running away <laughs> some of you are seriously going to do that i can feel it oh some of you are seriously going to just run away because it's just too much. It's just too much. And then you get a whole brand new spanking beginning, stability. Some of you just need to be away from this because it is, it it feels so, it, like even as the reader, I'm like feeling your anxiety. It's too much. Oh, and as I say anxiety, overall energy, nine of swords, Gem, Gemini energy. Underneath that though, look at that, justice, Libra energy. That's freaking beautiful. That's beautiful. Like, like I said, it's temporary guys. Whatever this is, I just heard protection again. It's temporary. Run away if you have to. Hide if you have to. Take take a vacay from work if something's going down at work. If it's with your family, just go on a little. Again, actually, yeah, just go on a vacay. <laughs> Disappear. Whatever you got to do to keep your sanity, because it's gonna put you in a state of nine of swords. Very much panicky. Very freaking out. But justice is coming in right underneath it. You're gonna wonder if this is gonna get straightened out. It will. It will. Okay. So don't even worry. But I, I did hear protection. Some of this could be a legal issue. Some this, this could definitely be a legal issue. I hope no one's getting arrested. God. Um, no, I feel a hard no on that. I don't think anyone's getting arrested, but some of this could be legal, but there's something about blame and it, it feels very big. It feels very much like, like being in a, like, you know, if it's just happening at work, like let's say you have to sit at a table with like 20 other people in a meeting and they're all looking at you like, why did you do that? This is your fault. But I really feel strongly it's not something you actually did and you will get justice. Okay. Ooh, all right. Let's look at the six of wands in reverse and see what we get with that. And these right away to clarify. Talking about six of wands in reverse for Taurus. Talking about six of wands in reverse for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Talking about six of wands in reverse for Taurus. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Talking about six of wands in reverse for Taurus. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Talking about the six of wands in reverse for Taurus. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. 
Five of Six of Wands in reverse for Taurus. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Time of Six of Wands in reverse for Taurus. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Time of Six of Wands in reverse for Taurus. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Man, spirit's like not talking. Come on now. Time of the Six of Wands in reverse. What's this negative attention about? What's this blame about? For some, like... I doubt I have celebrities watching me, but if I do, this is just a huge public scandal. Okay, that's what this is. So I bought six of wands in reverse for those on that caliber. It can be as benign as like your whole family's blaming you for something. So I bought six of wands in reverse. I just heard home. I did just hear home. Some of you, it's going to be with the people you live with making you want to run away. So I bought six of wands in reverse for Taurus. There we go. Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. Oh, this is interesting. Because Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles is indicative of growth, but it is also indicative of someone coming forward with an offer, something tangible, giving something. Oh, here's the friend. Here's the support. King of Cups on the bottom. Here's the support troop. The person who wants to come in and support. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at this. Justice in reverse. Libra energy with the Knight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy could also be water or fire, and the Chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy. I just heard hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, stop. Why are they giving that to me so hard? Um, they're really giving that to me really intensely for some reason. Yeah, whatever this injustice is, but it feels public. I can't get away from that public feeling because Chariot in reverse and Knight of Cups in reverse, I would consider that to, consider, uh, consider that to be a disloyal lover. Like, Someone whose loyalties is not with you. Oh, someone whose loyalty is not with you. Um, my queen of pentacles. Someone could be talking shit and they could have pretended to be your friend or pretended to be someone who loved you or pretended to be on your side. And turns out they're not. Turns out they're not and that's a major injustice. And for whatever reason, it's like, it's blame on you, slander on you, throwing you under the bus, that kind of energy to the point where it's, it's just overwhelming. It's just overwhelming and upsetting. For some of you, this is your own family member. Some of you, this is your own family member, and it's a major injustice, but that's why this Knight of Pentacles is here. They're coming in to help you out, okay? Coming in to help you out, and you're worried sick, but you will get justice for this injustice, okay? All right, let's keep it going. So I have six of wands in reverse. For some of you, this is definitely happening at work. Like they thought they could get some like financial gain out of it, but it just feels like a lie. It doesn't even feel, it feels like true slander, like true slander. Like whatever they said was just total bullshit, like totally made up. Talking about six of wands in reverse for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Talking about six of wands in reverse. Wow, just as I said that, Ace of Swords in reverse. Total bullshit. Total bullshit. <laughs> Total lie. Yeah, what? A, okay, whoever's throwing you under the bus, Queen of Pentacles, or trying to put you on blast, or trying to slander your name or your reputation, it's a lie. It's a total, flat out lie. Okay, and you have someone here trying to support you, trying to protect you. Wow, overall energy. Interesting. Devil in. Oh, I see. I see, I see what's going on here. Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. This is releasing yourself. Releasing yourself from toxicity. I heard jealousy, um, codependency, reliance. Queen of Pentacles, I think recently, my, to, talking to my queens, I think recently you've come into your own. You've become independent. You've broken away from other people. You've broken away from any kind of dependencies or twisted toxic relationships you've had with people. It's almost like people kind of I feel like they've been wanting to grab onto you, Queen of Pentacles, and you haven't allowed that. You've resisted that because you know it's not healthy. And this is the backlash. This is the backlash. I think for some people thought that, I think, <laughs> excuse me, some people thought they could ride the ride with you, <laughs> with whatever it is you're doing in your life, whatever you have going well in your life, because it looks like you have come into some ex success, excuse me, success. Um, and there are a lot of jealous people and so they were just smiling in your face, hoping they can get a little bit, hoping they can get some of your 
success and some of your attention, whatever it is that feels good in your life, people have been wanting to ride that ride. And I think you've made some very clear decisions like, hey, you're not riding that ride with me. I'm breaking away from this. Backlash. A lot of you, this is work related. A lot of you, this is work related. But don't worry, because like I said, it's gonna be all good. It's gonna be all gravy and you will get your justice for the bullshit. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Uh, let's look at the world. I'm gonna use Gilded Tarot and then we'll look at the Ace of Pentacles and see what you're coming into after this calms down and goes away. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world for Taurus regarding love. Tell me about the world for Taurus regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the world for Taurus regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the world for Taurus regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. Yeah, people are just mad they can't have, they can't like mooch off your success, Taurus. That they can't mooch off of you, off your energy. For some, it's just your ener energy vampires that are pissed that you're cutting them off. But for those where it's work, work related, they're pissed that they can't like take your credit. They're pissed that they can't ride your success and get the money that you're getting or the recognition that you're getting. And so now they're trying to just, you know, what's the word? Sully? Sully your name? I think that's the word. Why is that sound? Oh, because that reminds me of Monsters, Inc. That's why it feels weird to me. <laughs> Tell me about the world for Taurus. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the world for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Let's see here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So three cards just came out. Death. Death. Scorpionic energy. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. And four of Pentacles in reverse. This is letting this shit go. This is having your panic moment going into the new some you're running away no shame in that if you got to separate yourself from the chaos separate yourself from the chaos it's not worth your mental health right whatever this new cycle is or travel is that you're doing it's allowing you to put the situation behind you it's like all right i'm just i'm letting that shit go that was that was an awful moment it wasn't my fault i'm gonna let that situation go i'm gonna let that situation die out all right let's see what else we got here <clears throat> Tell me more about the world for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me more about the world for Taurus. Ooh. Okay, got two more cards here. Tell me about the world for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Let's see here. Wow. This is interesting. Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy with the Fool. Aries energy, Aquarian energy, because it's also Uranus card, and Ten of, oh, that's why this is a wow. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. This is the other party. This is the party throwing you under the bus. Throwing you under the bus, throwing slander at you. Look, scarcity mindset. I totally see it. That Five of Pentacles and the Fool, they want to take a risk in throwing you under the bus, lying about you, um, slandering your name, your reputation. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it's going to backfire on them it's going to backfire on them. They were the ones feeling like they didn't have what you had, like very jealous of whatever it is you got going on. How come, to, how, come my, how come Queen of Pentacles gets to have that? How come Queen of Pentacles gets that recognition? You know, very jealous, very jealous, very low vibrational. And with that full card, it quite literally is taking a big fat risk. And then that Ten of Pentacles in a verse, it blows up in their face. It blows up right in their face. Overall energy, we have Two of Cups. Uh, Cancerian energy could also be soulmate energy. And then we have, ooh, judgment, fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Ooh, I'm loving this, guys. And then we've got the high priestess. Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Guys, I gotta be straight up about this. This support, this is some good ass support. This is your support system. This is the person coming in to protect you, Queen of Pentacles. They are not only a soulmate, but they're like, they're. I, I don't like the word heaven sent, but that is the energy I'm getting. They're a heaven sent support group, support soulmate. That, oh, let's call them that, a support soulmate, okay? <laughs> heaven, <clears throat> heaven sent just to help you in this situation, and not just in this situation, but 
High Priestess, that's a lot of divinity. Coupled with Judgment, which is karmic, also divinity. And Two of Cups is that soul energy, soul tie energy. This is someone who is who literally is is it's a blessing. It's a blessing that this person is here to help you. It's no coincidence. Thank you. That's what I'm really supposed to say. It's no coincidence this person is here to help you and support you during this time, okay? It's a very divine connection. It's a divine spiritual connection, whoever this person is to you. It could just be a plain old friend that you just have a lot of telepathy with or have that spiritual spiritual connection with, that beyond familiarity with. It could just be a straight up friend. For some of you, it could be a potential lover. But as the energy stands now, I feel like the focus is just like, buddy, I need you. <laughs> that's where I feel like the focus is on I don't feel like the focus is on love at all on this right now they have love for you in that soul tie way but I feel like because the situation's like I, I'm panicked I gotta get out I gotta protect myself they're like I gotcha no worries queen of pentacles I gotcha I'll protect you because I'm here to I'm here to support you you know I love that I really love that all right now let's look at the ace of pentacles let's look over here uh Legacy. I'm feeling legacy. And then we'll pull some advice. So I got the Ace of Pentacles for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Oh my God, Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. See, Taurus, my Queen of Pentacles, you got nothing to worry about. Once this blows over and your little support here, your supporter, your cheerleader, so to speak, helps you out with the situation, ace to the 10, you are going to be just fine. I feel like this person, whoever's throwing you under the bus, does not want you to have your 10 of pentacles, doesn't want you to have the success that you deserve, that you've earned. You've really earned it. And you know, I, God, I talked about this in another video too. It's like people just see what they want to see when it comes to people and their success and they don't recognize that it's like, it probably took a lot of work for the person to get what they're getting. I almost feel like very rarely do people uh, get the 10 of pentacles or rewards like this unless they really deserve it, you know, unless they've really earned it. And some people just can't like cope with that because in their own life, low vibrational mind, they're like, well, I want that. I want that. They don't deserve that. I deserve that, you know, and they just can't help but see that. They're just too low vibrational to even comprehend that someone worked their ass off to get this, right? Anyway, let's keep it going. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles for Taurus regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Yeah, if this is happening at work, this supporter could be someone at work, like standing up for you, speaking on your behalf while you take your little vacay. <laughs> Tell me about Ace of Pentacles for Taurus. Not all of you are going to do that, but some of you are definitely going to be doing that. Oh, that's it. Overall, oh, see, look. Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. Yeah. They're just mad that they can't ride your ride. You separate yourself from them. They flip the fuck out. They lie. They throw you under the bus. Slander your reputation, your name. Spread all your business out there, even if it's a lie, even if it's just a, I really feel strongly it's just flat out bullshit, whatever they're, they're saying. Um, you, you, you do what you got to do. You separate yourself, right? You let it go. If I could hold this up. Why can't I hold this up? You let it go. You let go of what this low ass vibrational person was trying to do, trying to stop you from your ten of pentacles, trying to, for some, trying to take it for themselves. And then boom, it blows over because you have a supporter. You got a cheerleader who's got your back and protecting you as you continue to move away from this devil energy because you've earned the Ten of Pentacles. It's yours. No one can take what's meant to be. And the fact that this person, your supporters coming in with judgment and the high priestess, they're meant to help you. 
they're meant to help you in this situation. They're meant to protect you, whoever they are to you, because this is yours and no one else can take it. And if they want to have a Ten of Pentacles, they can work their ass off to get it, right? Just like you did, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get some advice here. Any advice for my Tauruses regarding this spread? 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 Oh my God, cards are wanting to talk, guys. <laughs> ah, okay. Any advice for my Tauruses regarding this spread? Any advice for my Tauruses regarding this spread? Oh, yeah, see, look, beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation with the energy of, oh, focus. There we go. With the energy of six. This is working your ass off. This is very earthy, proactive energy. Tauruses, my queen of pentacles specifically, you worked your ass off for this ten of pentacles. It's yours. It's yours. And the bullshit that they're spewing will blow over because when people spew lies and bullshit, it comes right back to them because the truth always has a way of coming to light. And you have a supporter, a cheerleader, who is quite literally meant, meant to help you, supposed to help you in this, supposed to protect you in this. You worked your ass off to get it. It's yours. No one's taking that from you. Okay? Let's see. What else do we got here? Don't forget that. This came out because you need to remember that. You need to remember that during this time, no matter how panicked uh, you might feel by the situation. Any other advice for my Tauruses regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Tauruses regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Tauruses regarding this spread? Oh, that's it. Overall, oh, very nice. Electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. 24 breaking down to a six. I, I love this card because this is a manifestation energy. And I, I just keep getting, this is, this is yours. That's what they keep telling me. Taurus, my queen of pentacles specifically, don't forget you manifested this because you put in the work. That's true manifestation. You could speak it to the ether all you want. You could visualize it <clears throat> all you want. But until you actually do the physical steps to trying to make it happen, that's actually working with spirit, that's actually working with the universe to manifest exactly what it is you want, right? You, you have to put in the work and you did. You did, Taurus, you did. No one can take it from you. You manifested it, it's yours. Don't forget that during this time. It was 30, 32, 32 when I looked out of the camera. Don't forget that during this time, okay? Oh, and look, let's see what's underneath here. Koi fish spirit, there's always enough. 36 breaking down to a nine. This is scarcity mindset. That's the mindset of this bullshitter. That's the mindset of this low vibrational person who's trying to keep you from what you already worked for, from what you worked hard for, for what you try to manifest. No, 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 no. It ain't gonna work. It's not gonna happen because it's yours, okay? All right, Taurus, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Tauruses. Namaste.